go. No wheel spin. Now, I like the way the Honda transmissions shift. They have like that kind of kick whenever they shift. It's like it feels more like a dual clutch when you accelerate. Hey there everyone, welcome back. Today we are driving a 2010 Honda Accord EXL V6 on our channel. A huge thank you to Aiden over at Member Car in Rockville, Maryland for providing me this car. I will leave all his information on the right hand corner side of the screen. So if you wanna buy this car, I will attach a link, but make sure to check out his dealership. He's got a lot of cool cars to choose from. So if you're on the market for a high quality pre-owned car, reach out to Aiden. But let's get started with this Accord. We're gonna fire her up, take a look outside and then go take her for a drive. Now this right here is one of the main sedans that is out in the market today and back in 2010 this was your great option if you wanted a solid reliable mid-size sedan. This is the direct competitor to the Camry V6 and the Altima V6. So today the question will be is how good of an offering that is in, compar in comparison to the other cars. And you know for like high 20s low 30s somewhere around that before discounts you could easily snatch this car possibly even less but let's hop in here so sitting in here feels nice the back seat is roomy spacious i'm 6'2 and there's plenty of space we got a nice headliner now the leather here does rip after time and it does wear out more than in some other cars of this era so just be mindful of that. It becomes more wrinkly, just how it was in Acuras and Hondas. We even have the climate in the back. Soft touch materials everywhere. And you'd be surprised, even in uh, some Acuras, you didn't get soft touch materials here, and here you did. Like the RDX would get hard materials here. Also sunroof. But let's open up the trunk I'm gonna check that out and then the engine bay very big trunk spacious wide deep plenty of space now this engine is the 3.5 liter VTEC it was made all the way up till I believe 20 yeah 2017 on these Accords one of the last of its kind great engine we have the five-speed automatic transmission here not the six-speed so we'll see how that affects it but look at it great car let's go take a look at the interior now this Pacific Accord has kept up its shape very well it definitely looks good well besides just some little things here and there but it's very normal for its age we got a large armrest here, like a lot of storage. Light advisor, home link, garage door opener, sunroof, auto dimming mirror. As far as features, we got a um, six CD changer, uh, dual zone climate. Nice little perks for 2010. Obviously, it's not as luxurious as the ES350 or some of the offerings from Infinity Acura, but still very nice, easy to use. This right here is all hard material, but this still feels good. But let's go take this Accord for a spin. So 
So one word that I will describe this cabin with is it feels chill in here. You got a very relaxed pose, good visibility everywhere. I do feel like this is a little bit too high up, but it still feels good. The dash is easy to read, good uh, gauges. And you can already tell that this is the more powerful Accord. I have a review of the same kind of Accord, but a 2.4 liter. It's definitely a really, really old review from a couple years ago, but it's pretty good. So if anyone wants to watch it, I will attach a link. But yeah, the V6 is a whole different game changer here. The four cylinder is fun to drive too, but the V6 is just a whole, whole other kind of beast. Let's check the U-turn radius. See how that feels. Not bad, not bad. And the sound is good. Just sounds aggressive, deep. Very nice. As far as the ride, it does feel stiffer than your normal Camry V6. I guess it's because this is a sportier car by its character. We also got the automatic eco mode that turns on. Handling feels good. There is a little bit of body lean, but it's pretty minor. Power is also good. No complaints in this department. The steering is direct, informative, responsive. So you see merging here is not a problem at all. It gets there easily, up almost up to 90. And you don't feel speed here. It definitely feels like you're going slower than you're actually going. Now the soundproofing here is good too, surprisingly, for an Accord. You can hear a little bit of the road noise, but it is still very minor. So it is much quieter than per se Corolla or something in that class. I like the way the Honda transmissions shift. They have like that kind of kick whenever they shift. It's like, it feels more like a dual clutch when you accelerate rather than an automatic. And it's in every Accord V6 that I've driven, the newer ones, like the 2017, the, um, even the 2004 felt like that. And while this is a five speed, it still does the job great. It's, it's always in the right power band. It, it knows what you want to do. I like it personally. I think it's very nice. And I like how responsive the steering here is. It's like you give it some feedback and it goes. Very nice machine. I like how after four and a half thousand, this engine just kind of wakes up and opens up, it starts to sing this beautiful melody. sings
USA you're in one so you can kind of like select where you want it to be and then punch it Visibility is pretty good too. You can see everything fairly clearly. No major obstructions. it feels smooth comfortable it's a very relaxed ride and is this worth the difference over the four-cylinder I would say absolutely yes it is specifically in this case for example with the um, other models like per se the Camry four-cylinder and then the v6 it's also worth it but there are certain cars where the difference is not that major like even the four-cylinder Ultimas are plenty quick in that year and compared to their V6 counterpart, it's not as big of a gap that you would expect as compared to like the force under here and uh, the, the um, V6. I also like how torquey this powertrain feels. Like two, three thousand, you got good comfortable acceleration today is a very hot day it's almost 90 degrees But let's go to Mexico and do a 0 to 60 test with race box and drag and see how quick this Accord V6 is. So, three, two, one, let's go. No wheel spin. Definitely not as fast as the Camry V6 alternative. And we, here we did, let's see, once we slow down a bit, I'll look at the numbers. So by Draggy, we did zero to 16, 8.12, zero to 62 in 8.47, one eighth mile at 10.42, 71.31. And the quarter mile came in at 15.91 at 90 miles an hour. Is this an improvement? Is this an improvement over the four cylinder? Absolutely, yes. It's almost a second faster on the quarter mile, even in these not so favorable conditions. But the um, Camry V6 of the same year and the ES350 are more uh, powerful in terms of their uh, acceleration. They have better acceleration, surprisingly. But also let's take a look at the numbers here. History, drag, and here we did. 10.77 one eighth mile and 71.93 and the quarter mile at 16.26 at 90.84 so here you can see the difference 1591 and 
Now the trap speed was very close, about half a mile apart. But yeah, that summarizes the performance of this car in these conditions. Now, because I know you all love Honda test drives and these videos, I will make a little bigger loop than usual so you can get to enjoy this car some more. And we'll take it down some more windy roads. Let's check the U-turn radius of this Accord. All right.
suspension here is very good. Eats up all the bumps without any problem. Well, to summarize the test drive, I have definitely enjoyed this Accord. It has been a fun, fun ride. Definitely for 2010, this is a great vehicle. Very refined, uh, sporty, good performance. I like it. Well, thank you so much for watching and make sure to smash that like and subscribe button. And till next time.